Hello there and good evening. Now I was by now hoping to bring you news of the outcome of this afternoon's cabinet meeting where the PM and her ministers are obviously still thrashing through the details of the Chequers Brexit in name only proposals. The fact that they are all still in there without the last Brexiteers in the cabinet walking out hours ago leads you to wonder if they're caving in. A couple of previous developments though you may not have uh, heard about. It turns out, says the Independent, that civil servants were told to stop including the DUP in Brexit emails as its partnership with the Tory party deteriorated yesterday. Now that'll help mend bridges, won't it? And Labour whips tweeted that Never seen so many small groups of Tories plotting in the corridors and lobbies. Wonder what it could be about. I wonder too. And the press conference to be given by the PM on the results of the Cabinet meeting today, initially planned for 5pm, was then said to be postponed until 6pm. And then when the meeting had finally finished, and now Laura Koonsberg, the BBC political editor, reports that Number 10 says that there will be no press conference tonight, but a statement will be forthcoming after the meeting has finished. But Laura Koonsberg has just followed up with this tweet. Senior Tory tells me Brexiteer anger so high that seems likely there will be a call for no confidence vote tomorrow. Letters going in. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, I've now got to do something extremely pressing and important, and that is to go out partying. So I'll see you tomorrow, bleary-eyed and very shabby. Thank you for watching.